Hello guys. So are you in dilemma about why I should learn Python or thinking that does it have uh, any future anymore? Is the Python still popular? How about uh, the job opportunities in the market? Where actually Python is being used these days? And uh, I mean, who uses uh, Python nowadays? And in case if I am willing to learn Python, then from where I should start learning Python? Well. If you are having any of those questions in your mind, then you are at the right place. Hi, I'm Sanjeev. And today's topic is why you should learn Python. But before starting forward, I would request you guys to subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed already. And don't forget to click on bell icon to get our latest notifications. So what I will cover today in this video, the first thing will be what is Python and uh, what makes Python so popular even in 2020? Where can you use Python? Um, which companies uh, use Python? Is there any programming certification available for Python? And uh, how you should start learning Python? I mean, the basic pointers. What is Python? Let's understand a brief overview about Python programming. Python is a high level multipurpose object oriented and interpreted language. You would soon know why I am saying multipurpose language, uh, just like a Swiss army knife. Well, Python was created by Guido V. Rosum in 1989. Why he kept the name Python? because he was the big fan of Monty Python's Flying Circus and he was looking for a name for his language. So he kept the name Python. What are the features of Python that made it actually popular? Well, uh, it was easy to learn with a simple syntax. No semicolons, no curly brackets, no type defs, etc. And uh, you can do the same task, but with fewer lines of code as compared to other high level programming languages uh, like Java, C Sharp. It's an open source and uh, it is having a very active developer community to help you out. Uh, there are awesome modules to make your work easier in whichever domain you work, be it a networking, be it system programming, be it automation, be it machine learning, AI, ML. So many modules are there to support these things and it is a language which is portable which means you write a program in Windows and it will work mostly in Macbook or even in Linux machine as well. You can extend your Python code uh, to integrate with C, C++ or even Java, C Sharp. That's how it is extensible up to and it is being used by almost everyone in this IT field, uh, like by software engineers, hackers, mathematicians, data scientists, web developers, cloud engineers, network engineers, and so on. So now let's see where Python stands in terms of popularity amongst developer community. Well, TOB index gives you a rank of any language, either every year or every month. So here it is for Python. You can see the highest position since 2001 is number three in September 2020, which means this month. And the lowest position was in 2001, number 13. So still, uh, it, which means it is always amongst top 10 programming language. And it was language of the year for 2007, 2010 and 2018. So you can imagine Python is not going anywhere. It is getting popular day by day. And you can see the index of this from 2019 and 20. It is even much, much higher. So the similar thing is there with GitHub repo. If you search GitHub repo for your uh, Python repository, it has more than a million of GitHub repo and more than 224 million lines of code. Same thing if you search in Stack Overflow with a tag for Python, you will see more than 1.5 million questions already published over Stack Overflow. Well, there are lots of uh, jobs available for you in Python market. This is what just a glimpse in India. Uh, from the Noki.com, you can see more than a lakhs of jobs are there and 1200 job openings were there in September 2020 in Hyderabad. Now this is the average uh, Python programmer's salaries. 
um, in US. On an average, it is above 100,000 K dollars. In India, um, if you know Python with some other essential technologies, you can get 8 lakhs or above as a mid-range developer. So now where uh, you can use Python? So what are all the Python uses uh, in this domain? Well, it is being used for web development. Um, the famous frameworks are like Django, Flask, Bottle, and Pylon now, Pyramid. Even for testing frameworks, you have something like Selenium, PyTest, Robo Framework. Uh, it is being also used in gaming domain or uh, GUI development using tkinter, uh, WX Python for Windows um, programming, Pygame if you want to develop any game using Python, uh, PyQuit QT, and TV is there even for your mobile application. It's also being used in AIML. Uh, the famous libraries in Python is SkyKit Learn, TensorFlow. OpenCV, um, which is basically used for image recognition, and then Keras for deep learning solutions. In data science, also we have modules like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib. It is also being used for exploit development, network programming, uh, any cloud native application development solutions, DevOps, data scrapping or web scrapping. And also, if you want to automate your repeating tasks using Python. Now, this is what all about what you need to know Python and what are all the domains, technologies or topics which Python supports. Now, apart from uh, the Python, what else you need? Just like you need a company to enjoy your uh, time or stay, right? The same way Python needs a company, like Python needs a friend. So these are the other uh, skills that Python developers need today, out of which you can see if it is a cloud computing, Python plus AWS can give you very high, can give you a good result in terms of job, salary. If you are a web developer, uh, if you know Django, any APIs, you have another edge. If you're working on DevOps side, so you will see Docker is there, Python with the security skills or Python with microservices, continuous integration, DevOps, or Python for machine learning. So these all are the other uh, skills that you need to develop with Python. So what are all the companies uh, which use Python? Well, there are many companies which use uh, Python, but I would list some of the, those famous names like Quora, Spotify, Amazon, Google, YouTube, Dropbox, Instagram, Netflix, or like Bitbucket, Uber, Reddit, and so on. Now, uh, you might ask like, okay, uh, Python is so popular. I know like Python is uh, very easy to learn and uh, I'm going to learn Python and I'm going to develop other skills like cloud computing or security or DevOps or any other things. Now, is there any Python certification just like we have certification for other languages or other uh, domains? Yes, we have uh, Python certification available as well. And these are the three levels for Python certification, entry, associate, and professionals. So entry uh, is just like you need to know the very basics of Python. When you are in associate level, you need to understand how the function works, how this nesting uh, data structure works, how module works. And when you are going toward this professional level, you, you are very much comfortable uh, using your own modules, using different uh, modules for different purposes like Beautiful Soup, Requests, OS, Sys, even uh, modules for machine learning. You know how to optimize the code. You are good at troubleshooting. You are good at uh, handling exceptions. So that comes under this professional level. But I, uh, I, I don't see much value um, in certifications. That's my honest uh, feedback. Because if you know Python with any other skills that I have shown you, like AWS and other, and if you have a real hands-on experience, like what actually you need to write for your particular job, 
then you don't need these certifications. Now, once you are convinced that, okay, uh, I'm going to learn Python. So how I should start Python? Well, uh, you can start installing Python if you have not already installed. And uh, here is the link to download Python. Uh, once you have downloaded and uh, installed, check if Python is working just by typing Python hyphen hyphen version in your terminal. If it is in MacBook or in Linux or in your uh, command prompt, if it is Windows and uh, you just start learning about Python basics from the Python official doc. If you want to follow a book, there is a particular book which is Learn Python 3 Hardware Book. This is the one book uh, that I recommend if you want to learn Python in a quicker way and in a harder way. Now, I have also uh, created a GitHub repo to practice uh, Python uh, and I am sharing lots of examples there. Real world examples are also there. Uh, related to automation, related to AWS, related to security. I would suggest you to go through this GitHub repo and see if it is useful for you. You can even fork it, you can even star the repo. You can look for uh, any online resources like uh, Coursera, EDX, or even FlexMind is providing lots of uh, uh, course materials for cloud computing, programming languages, and security. Or you may ask the doubt here as a comment or uh, I will try to help you by creating requested videos or by guiding you in the right path. Now, my typical question. What do you think about this video? Was this video helpful for you? Is there anything that you wanted me to add in here? And uh, uh, what do you want to view as my next video? Also, I would request to like and share our YouTube videos. Write the comment how, how it was how beneficial it was for you, how informative it was, how was the presentation or anything that you want to uh, share your views and feedbacks or suggestions, don't forget to write the comment. And I would recommend again to subscribe our channel to get these type of videos on regular basis. Thank you. Thanks for watching.